Are you tired of being a lonely chef? Well, now you can cook your way into a romantic relationship. We are currently building our new email dating service called Cook for Love, where we match exquisite two-star chefs or higher with people who have a taste for delicious dishes. More details will be coming soon, so start honing your craft and get ready for romance. But only of the highest caliber. We don't allow any of you one or zero star delinquents in our service. Get the hell out. Welcome back to Cook, Serve, Delicious, everybody. I'm going to be trying to become that one star delinquent pretty soon here to, uh, to start the day, though. I think I need to have a quick look at the bets again. I'm pretty sure it's nothing I can afford. Yeah, the chicken breast. Unfortunately, I'm like $1,500 away. I think it's, oh no, it's like $1,300 away from picking that up, so. No dice there. We could try for staple gun, though. Not sure if I, uh, I don't think I can afford coffee. That might be the only one I have left to get. Let's look to uh, take a quick look at our active menu here. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the only one I don't have. It would allow me to get a quick $500 boost, but I suppose if I can get a good day, I might just be able to afford something outright. So that should probably be what I try for, at least. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the pizza here and put in the pasta, or the lasagna, rather. Get that two-star item on the menu, make a little bit more cash, hopefully. And, uh, other than that, I think we're okay. Not the greatest buzz in the world to start today off. Got a few detractors, we got some munchies and, uh, work liquor that are making people a little upset. But that's okay. I think we're good to go. Let's do day 18, shall we? Doing, uh, doing pretty well here. Again, the buzz is not nearly as high as I'd like it to be, but, uh, I think we can make that work. Quick chicken noodles start off the day here. For Mr. Mustache. Would you date me? I'd date me. I'd date me so hard, Mr. Mustache. You just you just are at my mercy when you're sitting there waiting for your soup to cook, man. You already ordered the damn thing. You ain't leaving here without it. I know you. I know you, Mr. Mustache. Don't think I don't. One vanilla, one chocolate, cherry, and sprinkles for you, the yin and yang. That's a fancy name for an otherwise pretty simple dish. Masachino. What is the what is the name for the cherry? Is it Masachino cherry or like Masarino or Al Pacino or My Sharona My Sharona cherries. Yeah, that's it. My Sharona cherries, the uh, the well-known predecessor to Macarena cherries. Delicious and danceable. That's on the jar. I've seen it before. Don't question me. Just accept it. Bowtie noodles, bouillon cubes, seasoning, and the soup du jour. For you, my friend. Fix your glasses, for the love of God. You come in here every day. All skawampus. Once I get that one star, I'm not allowing that shit. You better be ready. You better be ready for that, my friend. It's gonna be a cold day in hell before I let crooked glasses into my one star cafe. Seasoning, tomatoes, send that lasagna out. Shop all these up, there we are. And we're probably gonna have some meaty lasagna for the majority of our lasagna orders here, which is totally fine. Can make do with that, okay. Oh, take care of them dishes, buddy. There we go. Send that one out, send that one out as well. Chicken, noodles, cubes, and celery. Get a quick beer poured. There we go. We're gonna take care of the lasagna before we take out the trash, because that just seems like a decent enough idea for a decent human being. There we go. Pour another beer. This soup is going to be ready to go. Lasagna out the door. We're doing pretty good. Got another $8 tip there as well. Nice. Alright. Putting the seasoning in. I'm totally disobeying my own uh, mantra for... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, the rush hour lag, man. No! Oh, the game screwed me over. I gotta disable that thing. That, that rush hour... So what happens is the game, like, uh... The game takes a second to register the fact that it's trying to display that, uh, that Rush Hour logo, and in that little period of time, it actually doesn't register button presses, so I, I, I'm doing things in the correct order, but the game fails to register it, so I gotta disable that thing. In fact, I might take a, I might take a moment here when we get back to the main menu and just see if I can do that real fast. That's just silly. That is just silly. That was my... Elaborate, elaborate excuse I just concocted for why I just lost my perfect day. No, it's real. It's a real thing. I promise. I guarantee it. 
You can look it up. Other people will verify. Other people on the internet, I'm sure, have complained and en masse about this silly little bug. Ranch cheese, onions, and peppers for you. And take out that garbage. We're still making, I mean, a, a decent amount of cash just based on our sales of the dishes we currently have, so I can't be too upset, right? Lose down on 250 bucks. Just, you know, even in in this game, obviously in real life, if you had an opportunity to make an extra $250, obviously you'd want to take it, right? And if you felt you were cheated out of that opportunity to make another $250, well, damn it, you'd feel a little bit, a little bit peeved, wouldn't you? I think we all would. I think we've all learned something about ourselves today. Is that peeved is a funny word. Isn't it? <laughs> like titillated. I I'm I'm right peeved and titillated, I say. Peeved and titillated, yes. There's nothing nothing humorous about this. See it happened again. I pressed the vanilla, and it was like noop. Noop. We like hearing you say those words, so we're gonna keep making you feel that way. Get that beer. Uh huh. All right, we're gonna make a, a hefty sum of cash today, man. I'm feeling it. Despite the uh, despite the controversy, we will make it through this day profitable and prosperous. Very good. Nice. All right, chicken cubes, celery and noodles. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Get all that taken care of, sanitize and flush. Not necessarily in that order, because that would be counterproductive. Mushroom, tomato, greens, and carrots. Send out the soup. We got another chicken noodle. Probably gonna have to upgrade this soup at some point here, and that's gonna make things uh, a bit more complex. Really, just the goal is to get to that one star, though. A coveted one star. Vanilla and chocolate for you, my friend. Yeah. It'll be it'll be a sad thing when we take away the rush hour display, but I think it's for the best. We we know when the rush hour is, right? We don't need to we don't need to see the visualization of it anymore. We understand. We know how the world works now. Up to thirty percent buzz, which is yeah, it's better, but man, I'd like to improve that. We'd really like to improve that buzz. Not really sure how we're gonna do that though. I guess a safety inspection will happen at some point, and that'll give us a little bit of a boost, but not really that much. It's a temporary thing, too. We gotta find out permanent ways to establish the buzz of our franchise. The buzz lightier of our franchise, if you will. Oh, my bad. Scratching things with my face. Gross. Let's see if I can make a thousand dollars here. I think I might be relying on the, uh, the generosity of this man. You might want to provide me a bit of a tip. If I can get another soup order, though, that might be uh, what does it. Oh, hey, look at you! As if on cue. There's that. We're going to season this thing, and then uh, I think that might be enough. I'm, I might be relying on a tip to push me over that threshold. Let's see if she gives it to me. Nah. No dice. All right. $994. Total cash. Two average orders. Apparently I screwed up another one during that rush hour, but oh well. Cool! Not bad. 19 out of 20 days of service. We are so close. So very close. They say a full moon increases hunger overnight. <laughs> Excuse me. Resulting in a larger than normal crowd for restaurants the next day. Think there's any truth to that? Sounds nuts, I know. You sound nuts, Jeff. But thanks for the buzz boost. Hmm. I bet you can't get through today without making a single bad order. Agreed. Well, except, you know, the opposite of agreed. I, ch I take your challenge, Crazy Dave. And you will regret making that challenge. Hello there. Bet I can take. Oh wait, I don't have any silver tickets left. Damn it! Oh, that'd be such good money. Oh well. That's fine. I don't have as nearly as much uh, cash anymore. I wonder if I can afford the coffee. Probably not. Actually, I can't even get it yet. It's a breakfast food. I have to go to specialty stuff. That's a uh, that's a one star requirement right there. I'll be I'll be able to uh, afford it tomorrow though. After I've got my one star, so that's good. 
See if there's maybe any equipment that I want to pick up. Commercial toilet doesn't really seem like it's worth it to me. I'm gonna pass on that for now. Hmm. When do we get that, I wonder? Be cool to get cook bet tickets. Especially if they end up being worth more than they're costing. Obviously, that would be the only uh, desirable time to take it. No more catering events at the moment, sadly. I think we're, uh... We're just about ready to go ahead and call it here. Heading into day 20. Making as much as I can, so I need to not make a single bad order today. Zero bad orders and I'll win myself a cool 300 bucks. If I can manage to, uh... If I can manage to get a perfect day too, that's of course another 250. I could be a very rich man at the end of the day here. Especially, uh, considering the promotion, or the upgrade rather, to one star status is very, very close. Absolutely within reach. So, let's make it happen, Captain. Captain Crunch, you, right there, leaving the cursor on the screen like a Dazzle Fizz. That's what they call me. Bear Dazzle Fizz Taffy. Of the pack. As I'm known in most circles. Let's get that perfect day, though. Let's make this magic happen, man. We'll get a soup upgrade. We'll buy some coffee. We could have, like, a breakfast cafe, actually. That might be fun. That'd be a fun little roleplay, right? Getting a breakfast cafe going on. I would love that. We should consider that option. That would be a cute little endeavor. I'm gonna try to uh, keep to my uh, promise of doing the seasoning at the end of these soup orders here. For the soup du jour. Boom! Alright. Good rush hour, let's do it. The mix for you, my friend. Chicken noodles and celery. Yummy, yummy. Alright, again. Seasoning at the end of this one. Get that. Three is just greens and carrots. Four is cheese, onions, and peppers. Let's send this soup order out before we do the dishes here. Take care of that. Alright. Not getting too many orders during this rush hour, so... Pretty easy to take care of so far. I'm so glad we have that trash service now. Making things a lot easier with those, uh... Trash problems. Did just grab a tip there, that's fantastic. Just classic lasagna orders, making things pretty simple for me. Got the cubes and the veggies. And throw that seasoning in at the end, too. I could probably go ahead and, uh, just... Throw the seasoning on while I'm chopping vegetables if I have that kind of dexterity available to me. Let's see if I do indeed. I do. Wow. Look at that. I did it. I am amazing. <laughs> Everything about me is just so fantastic. Lovely. A lovely dish prepared by mine own hand. It was indeed perfect. I haven't gotten a single meaty lasagna order. Something bad must have happened to the meat. What did you do to it? Roger. Roger Klotz. Of Doug fame. It was like one of the best shows on Nickelodeon, man. Do 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 Did you see that? Did you see that? The pattern of the lasagna perfectly matches the Doug theme song. That's magical. That's fantastic. Oh man. No, no trivial little stupid thing has made me happier recently than what just transpired before our very eyes. That is wonderful. It was super offbeat, because, you know, input lag. I'm gonna blame it on that. But that was wonderful. We are over a thousand dollars! Almost. Kind of, a little bit. Perhaps after this guy. The first meaty low, meaty low, meaty roam lasagna of our day. Buzz is pretty good right now. We got that 10% boost from the full moon. Which is weird. But I won't question it. There's the exact thousand dollar mark. That's fantastic. What order ticket are we on, I wonder? 1053. Not bad. Not bad at all, man. We are doing well. What instrument is that? Is that tuba? That must be a tuba. It's all the brass. And these... classy little jazz numbers. Unless it's like an oboe or something. I'm just gonna look entirely uncultured. 
I think y'all knew that well before today, didn't you? Boop! Damn, that was smooth. Alright, cheese, bacon, croutons, onions, peppers, send that one out, and there we go. The bonga! The bonga! The Manhattan! Bacon, onions, peppers, greens, and carrots, yummy. We're still well on our way to that perfect day here. I don't want to jinx it, though. We are only midway through the second rush hour. Just gonna take my time here. We're not in any kind of rush. No reason to make things crazy. There we go. Send that beer out. Nearly accidentally hit three right there. That would have been, uh, obviously what ruined my perfect day, so I'm really glad I didn't do that. Meaty Rome. Damn it. Damn it all the hell. I did it in the wrong order. I really hope that's not a bad order. Really hope that's not a bad order. If it's average, that's fine. Damn. All right. Well, I guess I shouldn't be too mad about that. I forgot to... Oh, man. I'm getting all shaky now. Can't do my lasagna orders anymore. I suppose I should have been excited about the fact that it was not a, uh... That it was not a bad order. But still. That's disappointing. Oh, well. Still a pretty good day. A couple hours left to make some cash, and we will be getting that, uh... A coveted one star, so you know. You know, we still got something to be excited about. As long as I don't butcher anything in the last uh, hour and a half or so here, we will indeed win Crazy Dave's bet, get that extra 300 bucks. That's not bad at all. Just gotta, gotta love that perfect day money when you can get it, man. So handy. And Chef Risotto just makes you feel like a winner. That's all I care about, man. Chef Risotto making me feel good about myself. There we go. Alright. Flush it up. We're nearly complete. We've almost done it. One more soup order. The soup du jour. I'm gonna try to... Uh, I don't know what the hell I was doing with that. <laughs> that was a weird-ass way of concocting that soup, but I got it. Right at the tail end, my friend. Mr. Beanie. Mr. Beanie rhymes with Mr. Feeny. But I don't think you have a lot of life advice for us, do you, pal? That sounded like some victory music to me. I don't know about you guys. That sounded like we are winners. Yeah, baby! Checklist complete! You've completed all of your goals and tasks. Great job! To show our appreciation, we have remodeled your restaurant and have new goals for you to achieve for the next star rating. Good luck and keep cooking delicious! Share soda management. Hey, hey, yeah! Welcome to your brand new restaurant. Everything looks the same, we just upgraded the amount of balloons and streamers that fell from the ceiling. Look at that, they just keep on going. It's a forever party here at Sarasota Towers. I'm not really sure how this is working still. Apparently there's a lot of space in the roof above you. We got a lot of balloons. Someone make it stop! This is getting out of hand! I can't believe there's still balloons falling from the ceiling! Let's go. Alright. Well, one Crazy Dave's bet. $300 for us. $600 in our pocket, of course. Cook bet has been updated. My sensors indicate that you have upgraded your restaurant and once you reach the next star, I will add all the specialty foods into the random bet hopper. Good day and good bets. Very nice. You've proven yourself to be a fine chef. I am opening our pantry here at Iron Cook Kitchen for you to purchase brand new specialty foods. The breakfast foods are available now. More will unlock once you reach your second star. She really doesn't look that pleased about it. New prep station installed. So now we'll be able to serve an extra customer during the day. So now we'll be able to serve five at a time. We've totally overhauled the restaurant for a new look and feel now that you're certified as a one-star restaurant. Customers will be more patient in waiting for their order be to be taken as well. Very nice. Menu rot is occurring though. Prep station number five is available. Negative energy always rubs off to others, but so does positive energy. Avoid elephants today. Bleh. Alright. Good stuff! I've got 18, 18, uh, 1800 smackers. Maybe I should buy some chicken. Actually, no, I did want to get the coffee. Coffee's fun. Let's get this one. Pick up coffee and then we'll be able to get that staple food challenge. That'll be fun. Got $1,100 left over, too. Pancakes. Ooh. Should I make pancakes? 
It's considered a Fatty McFats option, unfortunately. Hash browns are delicious as well. Breakfast sandwich. Yummy, yummy. In my tummy, tummy. Fried rice lobster. Oh, man. Lobster. Two stars are required for the lobster. I thought it would be a lot more than that. All right. Well, good. We're a one-star restaurant, everybody. We got a lot of buzz going into day 20 as well, or day 21, I suppose. So that's that, That's good, man. That was a little bit of a porky pig moment. But anyway, that's all, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.